Good morning and welcome to another day at Yosemite. I'm gonna have to apologize for my eyebrows for one because I completely forgot to bring tweezers and they have grown into complete bushy caterpillars and my throat's also really weird. So excuse those two things and the fact that I don't like a thumb because I've had to put my hair up. But welcome to Yosemite. We've spent the night at a campsite just about an hour's drive from the Yosemite National Park. As you will know from the previous vlogs, Yosemite was actually closed while we were here, so we weren't quite able to explore as much as we'd hoped to, but we did go on a little hike yesterday. I actually chickened out halfway through because it was quite hard and it was right next to a waterfall and the waterfall was like burst and overflowing. So David did get some videos of the hike which I'm sure I will have inserted into yesterday's vlog but today I think we're going to try and go back to the Yosemite National Park see if it's open if so we will have a little look around it's very iconic as I'm sure you guys know so fingers crossed we are able to get in there but if not we're just going to head straight to San Francisco which is our last and final stop last and final those two things are the same you know what I mean um, so that's the plan for today. I slept really well again on this little blow up bed. It was definitely the best $50 that I ever spent. And um, I've actually really enjoyed camping. It's, it's different. It makes you feel really kind of connected to the outdoors. And you really bond with everyone that's here. And we also slept right by a river. So I feel like we kind of had white noise to fall asleep to. So it's very, very calming. And yeah, everyone's just getting up, packing up their tents, packing up their cases, and making breakfast. So that is what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to try and tidy everything up, although it's quite hard in a tent to get yourself organised, but it has been easier than I thought, actually. The whole experience of camping has been actually a lot better than I anticipated, so if you are scared about it, don't be, because if I can do it, it's got really dark, sorry. If I can do it, you can do it. But anyway, I'm gonna start waffling and I will see you in a bit. Jamba juice over there, which we um, may go and try out as well. But I'm very, very excited for a burrito, so can't wait for it. Shame for it to end. Yeah. Have fun. 
indeed. Woo! just driven from Yosemite to San Francisco. We had a quick look at the Golden Gate Bridge and then we've checked in to our hotel, which is quite near the airport. So I think hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have time in the morning to head into San Francisco. Come to the hotel's diner and they serve breakfast all day. So naturally, David has a full American breakfast and this is a hash brown. That's what they call hash browns over here, don't they? Obviously in the UK, we probably know it as a potato rosti, but here, that is a hash brown, which is very exciting. We've got poached eggs, bacon, and some toast. And then I have the remnants of some tater tots as well. No, so, that was a full plate though, wasn't it? Well, it was a full plate, but David did help me, so we have had a feast, haven't we? A real, yeah. a real wholesome and healthy feast, but we kind of needed it after the long day. I think yeah. we're just going to chill out tonight, and then tomorrow morning we are going to do a couple of the San Francisco sites, hopefully, if we have time. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna say goodnight here because I'm not really gonna do anything else that interesting tonight. And I will see you in the morning for San Francisco exploring and adventuring. And I'm sure I'll look more presentable than I currently do because I'm currently on two, three day old camping here. And yeah, I don't, I don't feel my best to be honest. I don't look my best either, but it's fine. So yes, I shall see you in the morning. Oh, uh -huh.